G'day, you bloody dickheads. The Vaping Fucking Bogan back once again for another Dinky Die review. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all doing grouse. I'm doing pretty good. Just got back from ECC over in California. Had a fucking blast. So uh, apologies for the lack of content, dickheads. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, the little bog. And uh, we've got some more footage from, uh, from my travels to come. But uh, anyway, dickheads, we're fucking here. We're back into it. We're going to have a fucking squiz at the Nova mod from Geek Vape. Have a look at this pretty little fucking thing. Very nice. It's a classic box mod kind of shape to it. Very clean. Very clean and fucking minimal. Loving it. Liking it. Very fucking nicely done. Anyway, to get sitting atop that, I have the Creed RTA. Uh, stupid fucking name, but really, really like this tank as well. Anyway, dickheads, the drip tip, if you're wondering, uh, up the top there is from Signature Mods over in the UK. If the camera would fucking focus in, there you go. Bit of a matchy match, kind of, pretty close. Anyway, let's take it for a fucking toot. Uh, I got some 0.1 ohm Claptons in here. 85 fucking wattos. Very nice. Feels like it's doing what it should be fucking doing, you know, 200 watts. It is a dual 18 6 fucking 50 regulated device, uh, if I hadn't fucking mentioned that, which I don't think I had. But anyway, dickheads, we're going to get more of this in a minute before we do that. As fucking always, dickheads, a beer o'clock. Let's see what we got. Some uh, some German beer this evening. I've been in the States drinking plenty of the Yankee stuff, but uh, I'm going to get into a, uh, a Franzer Kleiner, I think is how you how you pronounce it. Fran Franzer Kleiner. Uh, a Wittbier. A premium Weissbier Dunkel from Munich since 1363. There you go, pretty old fucking brewery, this one. Don't think it really says much on here. It is a five fucking percenter. And yeah, brewed and bottled over in uh, Deutschland. Where is it brewed and bottled by blah, 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 blah. Munich? Yep, it is done in Munich. Anyway, let's see how she fucking tastes. How good is this glass, dickheads? This glass comes to me courtesy of a Patreon uh, bloke by the name of Jeremy. Good old fucking Jezza, top notch, notch cunt. Met him at uh, ECC, popped over to uh, to say hi, and he brought me a few prezzies, namely this fucking uh, Johnny Cash t-shirt. And this, uh, I think you call this a redneck chalice. Is that what I'm... What I'm fucking led to believe, the redneck chalice. Uh, yeah, basically it's a mason jar with a fucking uh, little stem put on there. So uh, yeah, this goes quite nicely with the whole bogan fucking theme, doesn't it? So uh, cheers, Jeremy. You're fucking legend for supporting the channel and uh, an absolute uh, fucking gentleman bringing me a few fucking uh, little treats. So fucking cheers, mate. Anyway, dickheads, it is a sort of darker wheat beer, the uh, the Franze Kranne. Uh Let's see how she fucking tastes. Yeah, decent fucking beer. I've had this one way, way, way back in the day. Oh, a while ago, I reckon. But um, nothing groundbreakingly awesome, but it's got a nice multi kind of brown ale sort of feel to it. But then being a, a wheat beer, it's got that kind of grassy, lighter kind of feeling you get from wheat beers. Yeah, it's a decent fucking drop. As I said, I wouldn't really call it a craft beer, but it is an old fucking beer and a good one. Really nice bready, biscuity notes. Multi, slight sort of little sweetness there to it. Nothing crazy though. Just a good fucking, you know, nice brown beer. Pair it up with a juice, we fucking shall, dickheads. This one uh, came to me courtesy of the Half Moon mods, guys. Pat over at Half Moon sent me some batteries and he threw in some fucking juice. And uh, it is a Dat Sugar Cookie Dough. There you go, Dat Sugar Cookie Dough. Very fucking uh, American way of fucking speaking, isn't it? It's by uh, North Shore Vapor over in Boston, uh, and it's a fucking cookie dough fucking vape. I like a few bakery vapes, and uh, I'm a fan of cookie dough. This has got a really nice, just sort of slightly sweet, but not super sweet like some of those other sort of sugar cookies out there. Really nice doughy fucking uh, notes to it. Should go fucking well with this sort of multi beer. We'll fucking see. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. It's uh, definitely bringing out some flavours that I wasn't getting in the beer before. Yeah, it's kind of, it's almost bringing out like a slightly 
fruitiness out of the beer. It's kind of weird. Um, it's enhancing some of those sort of bready, biscuity notes, but then there's an extra flavour in there that I didn't fucking have before. I can't quite pick what it is, but it, yeah, it's kind of adding almost a fruitiness to the fucking, uh, to the beer. Different. Changing it. Fucking always likes to see a bit of fucking uh, reaction when you pair something. Anyway, dickheads, enough fucking chit-chat. Let's get down in the up and bloody close. We'll have a quick squiz at the Nova. It is a pretty simple fucking mod and uh, has the same chip as the Aegis Legend and uh, and things like that. So uh, we won't need to spend too much time in there. Let's have a fucking look-see. Oh, fucking righty. So the packaging I received was just sample packaging. So there's no point in showing you that. Now, it did come to me as a kit with this little uh, Cerebus uh, sub tank. Now, I didn't bother fucking testing it. It takes exactly the same coils as the tank that came with the Aegis Legend. Uh, the Aero, I think it was. Uh, there's like a mesh coil in here. Quite a decent little sub tank. Good flavor. Actually, quite, quite good flavor for a sub tank. I'd put it up there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to, I just don't have fucking time to test it, um, being away and stuff like that. And as I said, it's going to vape basically the same as the, uh, the tank that came with the Aegis Legend kit. Does look a little bit different to that one. But anyway, there you go. You get a spare coil with it, um, a couple of mesh coils. Um, these are the X1, so it comes with two of the X1 mesh coils. Uh, bubble window pre-installed, and you get a, uh, a sort of straight window as well. You get some spare O-rings for the tank. Um, but you can obviously get the mod just on its own and in that case you'll probably just get the micro USB cable for charging and updating. As I always say dickheads, don't charge your mods via USB, take the batteries out, put them in a proper fucking charger, alright? Anyway, these come in a couple of different fucking colorways, um, different sort of acrylic finishes. This uh, orangey uh, blue green one has got ribbing, 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 you can see there kind of, you can see the, yeah. Bit of, bit of ribbing, don't know why, but anyway, it gives it a nice little sort of dildo feel. Um, but I really like this finish here, this sort of stony grey, um, really, really like this acrylic. And this one is just smooth. Both of them have that kind of rubberized feel that we've seen on uh, on acrylics out of China recently. So uh, yeah, just be aware of that. It is that kind of rubbery sex toy kind of fucking texture. But either way, uh, a very nice, I think they call this sort of uh, like a matte gray, but you know, I'm understanding it's kind of like a sandblasted kind of finish. Don't know whether that's actually the process that they give it, but it certainly feels like sandblasting. Um, it's pretty lightweight, so I think it might be um, an aluminium kind of uh, finish. It doesn't feel heavy like zinc alloy does. But uh, yeah, a nice matte sort of uh, finish to it. You got uh, up the top there, your nice 510 plate, bit of an egg fucking shape to this one. Spring-loaded 510, haven't had any issues with any connections on there. You will be able to fit up to about a 25 millimeter Addy on here. It's uh, got a, about a 25 millimeter width. Very classic sort of box mod shape, so that's coming right to the edge there, 25 millimeters looking pretty fucking good. One thing to point out, they have offset the 510. I'm not too sure why. I mean, I feel like you'd offset it completely to one side or you'd center it. It's kind of like an odd sort of just off center position, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. I, I, I like that we can get uh, a decent fucking sized atomizer on there and it's not too fucking wide, only 25 millimeters sort of in total diameter. Nice fire button up the top there, nice click to it, feels solid. No button rattle at all, which is something I always like to see. Uh, vertical screen, we'll see that in a minute, same as the Aegis had, um, the Legend, and etc. You got your positive, you got your negative button, micro USB port down the fucking bottom there. Uh, on here, you've got a little bit of uh, gra engraving or laser etching, just Nova, blah -de blah and uh, nothing on the back there. They were pretty fucking nice enough to actually add a little vaping bogan logo to the uh, the back of this one, so that's fucking neat. I like that, very nice. Doesn't fucking change my opinion, but it's always a nice little fucking thought. Now to get to your battery door, they've included a neat little fucking cat out here, a little notch, so you can just sort of flick that up, off she comes. Inside, very, very clean, simple, um, positive, um, negative, negative, positive, spring-loaded at the top there, um, the AS200 chip, which as I said, a, seems to be working exactly the same as their previous chips. Um, but yeah, 18650s, unfortunately, nothing bigger. Um, very, very solid sort of battery door. There's um, really not any movement side to side, you know, tiny little bit side to side, but really not much at all. Pretty impressed with how well they've uh, got the tolerances for a cheap Chinese fucking banger. But uh, yeah, nice acrylic. I like what they've done with sort of just this little curve here and not a completely acrylic door. 
Um, I also like that it's not an acrylic panel that doesn't go all the way to the edge. It's little things like that that just make this mod look nicer, having the acrylic go all the way, not just a little inset panel, but you know, it, it wraps itself around the, uh, the door there, which I don't know, just gives it something a little bit classy, very, very classy looking mod, I have to say, for something cheap out of China. This has got very much that sort of, uh, you know, higher quality, higher end kind of feel, which I do like. Anyway, dickheads, on the one that I've been using, uh, I've got the Creed RTA, which uh, again is that sort of sandblasted finish. This is a sandblasted sort of uh, stainless steel though, and I believe it's sort of slightly darker, but it still looks good. Anyway. There we go, turn the fucker on, and uh, we've got the, the screen there. Um, could be a little bit brighter, could definitely be a little bit brighter. Might just fucking turn down the fucking lights here, make this a little bit easier to fucking see. There we go, alrighty, how are you? That's, yeah, that's fucking better. So as I said, dickheads, it's basically the same chip they had on the Aegis Legend. Um, you've got a, uh, a wattage, you know, power mode up the top there, that's what I mean, power, wattage. Um, 0.1 watt increments goes up to 200 watts. Once you get above 100 watts, it'll go into one watt increments. Uh, you got your resistance, you got your volts being applied, you've got the amps, and you've got your puff counter over here. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. One, two, three clicks. You light up that little power logo, and you can cycle through to your uh, temp control, nickel, stainless steel, um, and then you've got TI, which is titanium and uh, then you are over to TCR mode. VPC is like your uh, voltage power curve, so you can uh, you know, dial in wattages at particular seconds and have it give you a nice little curve. And then you've also got bypass mode as well. Um, bypass mode, it's interesting because it's, it's gonna be running in series, these batteries, to give you 200 watts, but the bypass mode, it sort of basically gives you um, like a, there's a limit on, to, on, the, on the fucking amperage, um, I think, somehow. So it won't let you run like a 0.1 ohm build like I've got on here now at, you know, series voltage, which would be 8.4 volts. So it, um, it definitely is, is limiting it, as you can see there, to around about 4 volts, which, uh, which is good, you know, allows, means you've got bypass mode, but you can't do something dumb like put it into, um, in, you know, a 0.1 ohm build there and then fucking, you know, obviously overdo the batteries. But yeah, dickheads, I'm gonna keep the short, sharp and shiny. If there's anything you need to know more about this chip, go and check out my Aegis Legend review. I spent a little bit more time on the chip over there. But um, yeah, it's it's a simple chip, very sort of uh, easy to read, vertical screen, I like it. Um, yeah, not much to complain about. So that about wraps it up, dickheads, for the up and bloody close. Let's jump back up top. Let's talk some fucking pros and some fucking cons, prices and everything fucking else. So there you go, dickheads, a bit of a squiz at the Nova. And as you can see, look, it's a breath of fresh fucking air, this mod. What's been coming out lately from fucking China has just been just so underwhelming and just disappointing and just tacky and gimmicky. Voice activated this, mods talking to you, that, LEDs coming out your fucking butthole. And then the shit, like the fucking snakeskin stuff that I saw as well at ECC. This, oh, come on, there's just, it's just some horrible looking fucking mods coming out at the moment. And this is just, it, it's a classic box mod shape, it's clean, there aren't fucking grooves and lines all over it, it doesn't have a fucking six pack like some of the fucking smock shit I've seen lately. It's just a box mod with some nice acrylic, a nice matte grey kind of finish to it, simple, easy to use fucking menu. Yeah, I just, I fucking love this thing. I really like this mod, it is, it is refreshing to get something like this as a reviewer because I get, you know, so much fucking junk. Um, and obviously, you know, different tastes for different fucking uh, cunts, but uh, you know, for me, I don't need all that fucking gimmicky shit, you know? This is all I fucking need, a nice looking, well fucking constructed little box mod. So a few pros and cons, dickheads. Well, I love the build quality. I think the build quality on this is very, very fucking good for a, a cheap Chinese fucking mod. The build quality is excellent. You know, the door is very, very solid. The buttons have got a very nice 
good click to them. They feel quality. Uh, the screen is nice and simple. It's vertical. It's not doing anything fucking crazy. It's easy to read. Um, you know, little things like a battery ribbon in there, a battery door that isn't going to pop off, you know, the bottom or, or come loose or anything like that. You know, I forgot to mention there are some magnets. One thing I did forget to mention the up and bloody close stick heads is there are a bunch of other colorways uh, as well as the sort of matte gray that I've got here. There's also a silver, uh, sorry, a gun metal. So this is the silver, I think. Then there's a gun metal and there's also a black and all of them look pretty fucking grouse. So that's a fucking nice pro there as well that there's quite a few different finishes. You've got three different metals and then obviously the different acrylics as well. You can get the reds and this nice sort of stone one and the other shit. Anyway, nice fucking finishes. I really like the acrylic. Um, and I like the way that the acrylic goes all the way to the edge of the door. I think that's a, just a little thing. Little fucking thing. Um, it's not particularly big. It's pretty compact. You know, 25 millimeters in diameter. So it's uh, it's not going to fit huge atomizers on here. But it, it's not a big box mod, you know. it's uh, It's got a nice fucking size to it. Feels like it's doing what it should be doing. Performance definitely doesn't seem to be lacking. It's got all the sort of extras that you want in there, things like temp control for the fucking small percentage of people that still use that. Um, but it's got it in there, bypass, all the rest of it. What do I not like about it? Well, dickhead, it's not a fuck of a lot at all, to be honest. There's very little things that I would change on this um, or complain about. Little nitpicky things like um, the acrylic on, my, uh, on this one here is just a little bit, there's a little bit of a lip right on the corner there just where the acrylic meets the metal, just on the corners, and uh, I can I can kind of feel that sort of catching on my skin. Um, it's a cheap Chinese mod, and it's very well built everywhere else. So you know I'll uh, I'll let that one slide. But something just to point out, there's just a little bit of an edge there. I would have liked to have seen that more uniform with the metal, so you didn't have that little sort of sharp edge there. The other little thing is just the 510. It's an odd position because you can't. You don't need to have it this central because it can only fit 25 millimeter Addy. So you could definitely push the tank over and still not have any overhang. But it's not central. You know, I feel like if you're going to not make it to the edge, then make it central. You know, bang in the middle there. This is kind of just slightly offset. It's not a big deal. It's not something I really think about, but it's just something that if they could change or improve anything, I would have put the tank either all the way to the edge or all the way central. Um, apart from that, Screen could be a little bit brighter, but it's not really very dim, you know? Overall, fucking really, really well built mod. I took this thing, of all the mods that I had with me, you know, to test and, and, uh, and you know, trial before I review, and obviously all the stuff that I already have and use day in, day out, I took one regulated box mod to the uh, to the US with me when I went over for the ECC thing, um, and it was this little fucker. So uh, yeah, I really like it. Definitely would recommend it to anybody that likes you know simple, classic, um, you know elegant fucking designs. A price. What is it going to fucking set you back? Well, these sent uh, directly to me from Geek Vape, so fucking cheers for passing them on for the purpose of the review. No, it doesn't fucking change my opinion, as you can see, dickheads. I'll tell you what I fucking think. Uh, the extra one of these will be going to a Patreon uh, this month, so fucking thank you for your support, dickheads. In the United States, you can pick them up as a kit. I've seen them mostly as a kit in the US for around about the $80 mark. Fucking 80 bucks for a kit is not bad. And the sub tank's half decent. As I said, I'm sorry I didn't fucking review it. I just didn't see the point. I didn't have the time. Um, and it vapes exactly the same as the, uh, the sub tank that came with the Aegis Legend kit, those X1 mesh coils. Pretty decent. So yeah, overall dickheads, I don't have a lot to complain about here. As I said, this is a, a refreshing fucking change to some of the crap that we've seen coming out of China recently. So fucking well done, Geek Vape. Please keep up this sort of uh, sort of stuff. Don't fucking be tainted and tempted to go and do that fucking LED voice activated fucking snake skin this and gold plated everything that. Um, yeah, this is this is this is all we fucking need. So that about wraps it up, dear kids. I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down below if you want to check out what I'm doing outside of YouTube. If you want to support my channel, please fucking do. I run an independent channel, so I don't accept funding, sponsorships. There's no affiliate links here. There's no paid reviews. I want to make sure you cunts are getting an unbiased and honest opinion on a product. So I want to keep that fucking corporate money away from this fucking channel. So a bit of public support is always loved. Hit my Patreon page. I do prizes, giveaways, and content and special sort of things for those that fucking support me. And all of that keeps me doing my fucking thing. Otherwise, my Bogan Bruce, Ju Bro Bro Bogan Bruce Juice line. Links down below. 
Um, but if none of that's something you can afford to do, that's all good. You just sit back, sub home your fucking dicks off or your tits off. I don't care what it is you're fucking vaping on, where it's a nice, classy, sort of elegant style box mod. Or if you're into the LEDs and fucking talking to your mod, well then, as long as you're not banging the bungers, that is all that fucking matters. So uh, cheers for tuning in and cheery fucking oh.